Hi, Ash. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us today to speak a little bit about your experience with GovHack. Ash uh, won the Adult Spirit Award last year. Now, Ash, what made you decide to join GovHack in the first place? Um, it's been on my list of to do things for a while. And every year that like, you know, I wanted to attend for some reason that weekend wasn't available. So this time I made sure that they're, you know, I, 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 I put my effort in and block out that weekend. And I think the main reason uh, for, for, for joining was to um, extend my, the, the knowledge that I have, but also to gain knowledge uh, from the participants. Mm -hmm. It's not always that you get a, an opportunity to look at the real data from from organizations to actually have a bit of a play with that data and see what sort of insights that you'll find find from those data mm -hmm. um so i think that was that was something that was quite exciting for me to uh, you know actually have a real world problem then also mm -hmm. to utilize my skills but also gain new skills from other participants and when you say skills are these related to your work um the experience that i that i have gained from my own uh, 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 I, I guess uh, work experience was mostly around uh, industry industry experience, so like mining, oil and gas, uh, water utilities. So I have a bit of an understanding of of those customers, and I and I knew that they they were sponsoring that that gov hack. Um, so I thought that would complement uh, whatever project that we decide to pick, and I can bring that experience, those sort of insights from that customer um, into that project. Uh, but also, as I was mentioning earlier, so some of the experience and the knowledge that I gained in the past uh, three or four years around innovation uh, framework and the thinking around innovation thinking, um, I, 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 I believe I, I was able to bring that into the project in terms of um, getting the group to uh, think beyond just the problem and then try to understand what the customer is trying to achieve. So I think those are just some of the experiences and expertise that I I plugged into the into the group. That's perfect. Uh, can you share a little bit more about your project, what it involved, and uh, what you were aiming to achieve? Um, the project was was um, sponsored by Unity Water, and uh, in a nutshell, the project requirement was to reduce the amount of hours spent by the uh, by their crew on the road. So. They monitor the 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 um, mileage, speeds, braking, uh, and so forth of the of the workers driving their work cars, and they had they had they're capturing that in a data set, which sort of shows the amount of hours that a person is spending on the road, and it, it was it was quite extraordinary the amount of time they're spending on the road. So obviously they're to reduce the fatigue and to reduce um, the health and safety risks um, and also to bring work-life balance. Uh, obviously, Unity Water wanted us to look, us, look at that raw data and come up with some sort of insight around what are the things which, where you could potentially make their uh, road fleet a bit more efficient where they don't have to go and drive to a certain sites. Because typically with, with water utilities, um, they, they're... Uh, um, work is not just inside the office they have a spread asset all around the suburbs and the city so unity water i think from northern brisbane all the way up to like sunshine coast and and further they have got different pump stations remotely located so if something goes wrong with those pump stations somebody has to go and drive there that's a little bit of a nutshell of the what the project was about to how to be more efficient around uh solving day-to-day -day problems and maybe driving less uh, if possible. Well, that sounds really good. It's a really practical application for a company, isn't it? That's correct. That's correct. So on one hand, you can reduce the, the immediate uh, need, which is to reduce the, the driving time. But as you reduce the driving time, you then also, you know, saving on fuel. That means you're also then reducing the CO2 emissions and all that stuff mm -hmm. sort of piles up as you go. So there, there are also byproducts of uh, being efficient. So you solve one problem, but being efficient means you're probably bringing more efficiency in other areas as well. Yeah, that's right, right? Sometimes you address one challenge and then you address uh, secondary challenges at the same time. That's correct. And it could be a dual-edged sword. Sometimes you solve a problem, but you can create others too. So Ash, um, you told us why you joined the program. So what do you think did you get out of it in the end? 
I think overall it was more around uh, professional networking, I suppose. Uh, I did meet people from Unity Water, uh, um, which I had haven't had met before in my professional life. Uh, I did uh, uh, network with the university, um, network with the students there. Um, that will be something professionally that, you know, the network with, with uh, like-minded people is, is a great thing. Um, other thing was just to pick up the, you know, team collaboration. It's always something dynamic. Um, how you go about managing that? How do you how do you go about understanding someone's skill set? How to leverage them? How to get the group to work together? Um, I think that's something that you know was was a good learning experience for myself. And uh, are you planning to join GovHack again this year? I am looking at the dates. Uh, I am trying to convince more people to come and jo join me uh, this year. It's a, I guess the challenge with GovHack is it's on the weekend, so a lot of people sort of drop out. But again, I think it's also you you also get the right people on board because if you are going to be you know blocking out your weekend to come to these sort of events that means you're serious about something so i can see why why weekend is is good because you're getting the right people serious people coming into this and also making sure that they are uh um available for for uh, you know two days worth of hardcore um, hacking instead of getting stuck at a 9 to 5 and then you get a call or email from a customer and then you get distracted so uh, I, I believe it's good. But yes, I, I, I am looking to, to attend this year. I haven't signed up just yet, but I'm trying to round up some more people. So Ash, last question to sum up. Would you recommend others to join GovHack? GovHack is like a platform where you can actually go and utilize your skills outside your workspace. Uh, also, it's an opportunity to work on uh, actual customer problems and actual customer data. You can't have innovation or solution without a problem. So. To find a problem, you need to understand the customer and you need to have access to the customer problem. So I think that's one other thing about GovHack is you actually have the real world problem that you're solving. And the problem that they are usually available in, on GovHack are quite you know, innovative problems in terms of it requires deeper thinking, it requires you to go and slice and dice the data uh, and have that aha moment sometimes like, oh, that's something really exciting. Uh, so I would say that GovHack is, is is a place where you 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 should really go and you know even if you don't have a technical background if you don't you're not a hacker you're not a technical person there is there is always something for everyone to learn from so as you as you said like you know it's 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 a very diverse uh, group of people and innovation requires diversity if you have same type of people same thinking people in the same room you'll have always have the same type of output. Whereas diversity brings more color to a solution, more uh, insights and information to a solution. So I think that's what GovHack does. It, it allows you to uh, um, go beyond your you know, day to day to actually go and experience something different. Thank you very much for joining us today, Ash, and for answering my questions and for your, for your kind and thoughtful comments. Thank you. No worries. Thank you so much for your time.